we welcome you back to our channel. Today, we're going on a nostalgic journey through the wonderful world of movies, revisiting the most gorgeous women of the 1970s. Join us as we explore their ageless charm and grace, comparing legendary moments from the past to their current selves in 2024. Prepare to take a trip down memory lane as we honor the timeless beauty of these extraordinary women. Now let us get started. Jane Seymour, born on February 15, 1951, in the enchanting town of Hayes, Middlesex, England, is a distinguished British-American actress and producer. Her journey to stardom began with unforgettable roles in the 1970s, notably captivating audiences as solitaire in the James Bond film, Live and Let Die. Spanning over five dynamic decades, Seymour's illustrious career is a testament to her versatility, highlighted by acclaimed performances in timeless films like, Somewhere in Time, and the beloved TV series, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Accolades, including a Golden Globe for her mesmerizing role in East of Eden, underscore her mastery in the craft. Beyond the screen, Seymour reveals her multifaceted talents as an accomplished author and painter. Now, at the age of 72, Jane Seymour's enduring impact in the entertainment realm, coupled with her philanthropic endeavors and creative pursuits, positions her as a cherished and influential luminary in the heart of Hollywood. Marin Jensen, born on September 23, 1956, in Arcadia, California, is a former American actress and model. She achieved recognition for her notable portrayal of Athena in the original, Battlestar Galactica, TV series, elevating her prominence during the late 1970s. Jensen's career extended to appearances in shows such as, The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries. Despite the brevity of her acting career, Jensen's performances left a lasting impact on audiences. Choosing to transition away from acting, she redirected her focus to other pursuits. At 67 years old, Marin Jensen's contribution to the science fiction genre and her presence in the entertainment industry during the 70s continue to resonate with fans, forming an enduring chapter in television history. Anne Lockhart, born on September 6, 1953, in New York City, is an American actress known for her contributions to film and television. She gained fame for her role as Lieutenant Sheba in the original, Battlestar Galactica, TV series, which showcased her talent and established her as a notable figure in the science fiction genre during the late 1970s. Lockhart's career extended beyond, Battlestar Galactica, with appearances in popular TV shows like, Knight Rider, and, Murder, she wrote, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. While her achievements may not be as widely recognized as some of her contemporaries, Anne Lockhart's impact on the entertainment industry, particularly within the realm of science fiction television, remains noteworthy. Now, she is 70 years old, and her legacy as a versatile actress continues to be remembered by fans of classic television. Laurette Spang McCook, born on May 16, 1951, in Buffalo, New York, is an American actress best known for her role as Cassiopeia in the original, Battlestar Galactica, TV series. Starting her career in the 1970s, Spang McCook's portrayal of Cassiopeia, a socialator in the series, contributed to her recognition in the science fiction genre. Beyond her time on, Battlestar Galactica, she appeared in various television shows, showcasing her talent as an actress. While her career may not have reached the same heights as some contemporaries, her impact on science fiction television remains notable. Today, Laurette Spang McCook is 72 years old. Her contribution to the cultural phenomenon of, Battlestar Galactica, and her presence in the entertainment industry during the 70s continue to be remembered by fans, marking her as a significant figure in the history of television.
Aaron Gray, born on January 7, 1950, in the picturesque city of Honolulu, Hawaii, is a revered American actress and model. She rose to prominence with her acclaimed portrayal of Colonel Wilma Deering in the sci-fi TV series, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, captivating audiences with both her talent and beauty during the late 1970s. Beyond her iconic role, Gray's versatile career includes appearances in popular television shows such as, Silver Spoons, and, Baywatch. Prior to her acting endeavors, she enjoyed a successful career as a model. While her achievements encompass a diverse range of roles in both television and film, Erin Gray's noteworthy contribution to science fiction television and her lasting impact on the entertainment industry during the 70s and 80s continue to be celebrated by her devoted fans. At 74 years old, Erin Gray's legacy as an accomplished actress and model endures, leaving an indelible mark in the hearts of her admirers. Audrey Landers, born on July 18, 1956, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is an American actress, singer, and songwriter. She gained fame for her role as Afton Cooper in the popular TV series, Dallas, during the late 1970s and 80s. Landers' talent extends beyond acting. She is also an accomplished singer with several albums to her credit. In addition to, Dallas, Audrey Landers has appeared in various television shows and films, showcasing her versatility as an entertainer. Now, Audrey Landers is 67 years old. Her enduring presence in the entertainment industry, marked by her contribution to the cultural phenomenon of Dallas, and her musical accomplishments, solidifies her as a multifaceted and respected figure in the world of entertainment. Anna Alicia, born on December 12, 1956, in Mexico City, Mexico, stands as a Mexican-American actress celebrated for her iconic portrayal of Melissa Agretti Cumson in the beloved TV series, Falcon Crest, during the 1980s. Embarking on her acting journey in the late 70s, Anna Alicia quickly gained recognition for her undeniable talent and captivating on-screen presence. While her most renowned role is in, Falcon Crest, her versatile career extends beyond, encompassing diverse appearances in various television shows and films, showcasing her adeptness in both dramatic and comedic roles. Although her achievements may not be as universally acknowledged as those of some contemporaries, Anna Alicia's significant contribution to the entertainment industry during the 80s remains noteworthy. At 67 years old today, her legacy as a talented actress and her impact on television during that era persist, fondly remembered by her fans. Kelly Harmon, born on November 9, 1948, in Los Angeles, California, is an American actress and model. She gained recognition for her appearances in television shows and movies during the 1970s. Harmon's fame heightened with her role as Baywatch hostess in the early seasons of the iconic TV series, Baywatch. Beyond her acting career, Kelly Harmon worked as a successful model, showcasing her beauty and charisma. While her acting career may not have reached the same levels as some contemporaries, she made notable contributions to popular culture during the 70s and 80s. As of now, Kelly Harmon is 75 years old. Her work in both modeling and acting, coupled with her presence in the entertainment industry during her era, has left a lasting impression on fans, marking her as a figure of interest in the cultural landscape of that time. Jennifer O'Neill, born on February 20, 1948, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, is a distinguished American actress and model. 
she soared to fame through her breakthrough role in the film, Summer of 42, 1971, earning her a prestigious Golden Globe nomination and marking the commencement of a remarkable acting career. Jennifer O'Neill's innate talent and captivating beauty swiftly elevated her to the status of a sought-after model during the dynamic eras of the 1960s and 1970s. Over her illustrious career, she demonstrated versatility as an actress through diverse roles in various films and television shows. Beyond the realms of entertainment, O'Neill distinguishes herself with notable philanthropic work and advocacy. At 75 years old, Jennifer O'Neill's impactful contributions in acting, modeling, and humanitarian efforts collectively shape her enduring legacy, establishing her as a respected figure in both the entertainment industry and charitable causes. Linda Carter, born on July 24, 1951, in Phoenix, Arizona, is an American actress, singer, and beauty pageant titleholder. She gained international fame for her iconic portrayal of Wonder Woman in the television series of the same name that aired from 1975 to 1979. Carter's stunning performance as the Amazonian superhero established her as a pop culture icon. In addition to her acting career, Linda Carter is an accomplished singer and has released several albums. Her versatile talents extend to stage performances and advocacy work for various causes. Today, Linda Carter is 72 years old. Her portrayal of Wonder Woman remains a defining moment in her career, and her enduring impact on the entertainment industry, coupled with her contributions to music and philanthropy, solidifies her status as a beloved and influential figure. Jacqueline Smith, born on October 26, 1945, in Houston, Texas, is an American actress and businesswoman. She rose to prominence as one of the original Charlie's Angels in the popular TV series, Charlie's Angels, which aired from 1976 to 1981. Smith's portrayal of Kelly Garrett contributed to the show's success and made her a television icon. Beyond her acting career, Jacqueline Smith has ventured into business, establishing herself as a successful entrepreneur with her own line of clothing and home goods. Her business acumen has added to her multifaceted career. Presently, Jacqueline Smith is 78 years old. Her enduring legacy as an actress, combined with her success in the business world, cements her as a respected and influential figure in both the entertainment industry and the world of entrepreneurship. Bridget Bardot, born on September 28, 1934, in the enchanting city of Paris, France, is an enduring icon renowned for her contributions as a French actress, singer, and devoted animal rights activist. Bursting onto the international stage in the 1950s, Bardot emerged as the epitome of beauty and sensuality. Her pivotal role in And God Created Woman, 1956, propelled her to stardom, establishing her as a leading sex symbol of the era. The 1950s and 1960s witnessed Bardot's flourishing acting career, featuring memorable performances in films such as Contempt, 1963, and Viva Maria, 1965. Transitioning into the 1970s, she redirected her focus to animal rights activism, founding the Bridget Bardot Foundation. At 89 years old today, Bridget Bardot's legacy endures as an international sex symbol, acclaimed actress, and passionate advocate for animal welfare, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. Cheryl Ladd Born Cheryl Jean Stoppelmore on July 12, 1951, in the picturesque town of Huron, South Dakota, is a multifaceted American actress, singer, and author. 
she soared to widespread fame through her memorable portrayal of Chris Munro in the iconic television series, Charlie's Angels, during the late 1970s, solidifying her as a true television sensation. Beyond the glamour of Charlie's Angels, Cheryl Ladd's illustrious career spanned various film and television projects, highlighting her remarkable versatility as an actress. Her notable achievements include a well-deserved Golden Globe nomination for her compelling role in the TV movie, Grace Kelly, 1983. In addition to her thriving entertainment career, Ladd has also made a mark as a successful singer, with several albums to her credit. At 72 years old today, Cheryl Ladd's enduring impact on both television and music stands as a testament to her lasting influence on popular culture. Catherine Ross, born on January 29, 1940, in Hollywood, California, is an esteemed American actress. She gained international fame for her breakthrough role as Elaine Robinson in the iconic film, The Graduate, 1967. Ross's portrayal in the film, alongside her striking beauty, made her an acclaimed actress of the late 1960s. Throughout her career, Catherine Ross continued to excel with notable roles in films like, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 1969, and The Stepford Wives, 1975. Her achievements include an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress in The Graduate. As of now, Catherine Ross is 84 years old. Her contributions to cinema, marked by timeless performances and critical acclaim, establish her as a respected figure in Hollywood and a veteran actress with a lasting impact on the film industry. Morgan Fairchild, born on February 3, 1950, as Patsy Ann McClenney in Dallas, Texas, is an American actress. She rose to prominence in the 1970s and 1980s as a television sex symbol and a versatile actress. Fairchild gained widespread fame for her role as Jennifer Pace in the soap opera, Search for Tomorrow, and later became known for her glamorous persona in TV shows like, Flamingo Road, and, Falcon Crest. Throughout her career, Morgan Fairchild has exhibited her acting prowess in a wide range of genres, including drama, comedy, and suspense. Her achievements include multiple nominations and awards, showcasing her enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Currently, Morgan Fairchild is 73 years old. Her legacy as a talented actress and a symbol of television sophistication has left an indelible mark, making her a respected and beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Marilou Henner, born on April 6, 1952, in the vibrant city of Chicago, Illinois, is a multifaceted American actress, author, and producer. Her widespread acclaim stems from the iconic role of Elaine Nardo in the beloved TV sitcom, Taxi, captivating audiences during the late 1970s and early 1980s. Henner's innate charm and comedic brilliance were key factors in her success on the show. Beyond her memorable stint on Taxi, Marilou Henner's career boasts numerous film and television appearances, showcasing her remarkable versatility as an actress. Notably, she has also carved a niche as an accomplished author, penning several books on health and lifestyle. Her accolades include a Theater World Award for her Broadway debut in Over Here, 1974, and a well-deserved star on the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame. At 71 years old, Marilou Henner's enduring impact on the entertainment industry, coupled with her contributions to health and wellness literature, firmly establishes her as a revered and multifaceted figure in the heart of Hollywood.
Pamela Hensley, born on October 3, 1950, in the vibrant city of Glendale, California, is an esteemed American actress celebrated for her influential presence in both film and television. Her claim to fame emerged through her captivating portrayal of Princess Ardala in the iconic science fiction TV series, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, 1979-1981, where her talent and charisma left an indelible mark. Pamela Hensley's versatile career spans various roles in television and film, with notable appearances in shows like The Rockford Files and Matt Houston. While her achievements during the late 1970s and early 1980s may not have received as much spotlight as some contemporaries, her impact on science fiction television and her significant contributions to the cultural landscape of that era remain noteworthy. At 73 years old, Pamela Hensley's legacy in the entertainment industry stands as a testament to her enduring talent and influence. Kate Jackson, born on October 29, 1948, in Birmingham, Alabama, is an American actress, director, and producer. She rose to fame for her role as Sabrina Duncan in the classic TV series, Charlie's Angels, 1976-1979. Jackson's portrayal of the smart and resourceful Sabrina contributed significantly to the show's success, making her a household name. Beyond, Charlie's Angels, Kate Jackson continued her successful acting career with roles in TV shows like, Scarecrow and Mrs. King, and films like, Making Love. She later ventured into directing and producing. Her achievements include several award nominations and a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a television series drama for her role in Charlie's Angels. Today, Kate Jackson is 75 years old. Her enduring impact on television and her multifaceted contributions to the entertainment industry have solidified her as a respected and beloved figure. Pam Greer, born on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is an iconic American actress known for her groundbreaking roles in blaxploitation films of the 1970s. Rising to prominence with films like, Coffee, 1973, and, Foxy Brown, 1974, Greer became a symbol of empowerment and representation in the film industry. Her career spans decades, with notable performances in various genres, including action, drama, and comedy. Greer's talent and resilience contributed to her success, earning her acclaim and a dedicated fanbase. Her achievements include an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture and an induction into the International Civil Rights Walk of Fame. Presently, Pam Greer is 74 years old. Her enduring influence, both as a trailblazer for African-American actresses and as a versatile talent, solidifies her as a respected figure in the history of cinema. Jacqueline Bissett, born on September 13, 1944, in the enchanting town of Weybridge, Surrey, England, is a celebrated British actress whose magnetic performances have graced iconic films like, Bullet, 1968, Airport, 1970, and, Murder on the Orient Express, 1974. Bissett's mesmerizing presence and exceptional talent not only catapulted her to international stardom in the vibrant eras of the 1960s and 1970s but also solidified her status as a luminary in the cinematic world. With a versatile career spanning various genres, she has garnered critical acclaim and numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award for her brilliant portrayal in the TV miniseries, Joan of Arc, 1999. As of 2024, the ageless Jacqueline Bissett, now 79, continues to enchant audiences, leaving an enduring legacy that defines timeless excellence in the realm of cinema.
Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey across the decades. If you enjoyed this look back at the most gorgeous actresses of the 1970s, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Tell us in the comments which actress from the 1970s is your favorite. Until the next time, stay tuned for more cinematic delights.